Okay, let's get started. Thank you everyone for joining us for this afternoon's session, which is gonna be on the theme of uh, Python and OGC web standards. So our first talk is gonna be on the Python CSW uh, project, uh, the state of this project. Uh, the talk is gonna be given by Angelos Chotos and Tom Kreditis who are both involved, uh, well, deeply involved in OSGO in the board, but also as part of those projects. So I'll let you go ahead, Angelus. Thank you very much. So, all right. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, me and Tom are here to give you a status report of uh, PyCSW for 2019. Uh, PyCSW has, uh, has been an, o o an OSGO project for quite some time. So this is the outline of our, of our pr presentation. We're going to make a short introduction. We'll talk about the features, what's new in the latest version, then architecture, how to install it, and what other projects uh, use by CSW. And finally, we'll talk about the roadmap and, uh, and how to get involved. So let's start with the introduction. So PyCSW is a Python CSW implementation. Uh, it's open source uh, uh, under the MIT license. It, lands, it runs on all ma major platforms, and we have been an OSGO project since March 2015. Uh, we implement the OpenJS catalog service uh, specification, and we also implement OpenSearch and other uh, specifications that are out there for catalogs. We are, we are trying to make, uh, make it easy to install a catalog, basically, and be able to share your metadata and be able to publish and discover your geospatial data across the, the web. So uh, the project is, has been certified by OGC for a long time. Actually, when the project started, uh, Tom, wanted to, to, to make it pass all the side tests from day one. So this, is, this was the target from, from the very beginning of the project. So we managed to get uh, OGC compliant very fast. And after that, we managed to be uh, a reference implementation for OGC for both uh, CSW2. And, and recently, we were the first reference implementation for CSW3. Uh, and this is a, the project history. Tom started the project in uh, 2010. Then I joined him in, in 2011 when he publicly announced it on the mailing list. And since then, we, re we re reached version one very fast. Uh, we were included in, in OSGO Live. Then we were certified by o OGC. And then we, we became a bit successful by going to data.gov and other uh, large uh, uh, open data portals around the world. So our latest release is 2.4. We released it this May, and Tom will talk about uh, the, the latest features and what has changed. And as I said, it, we want to be lightweight. We want to be able to set up easily a standalone catalog or uh, many catalogs and be able to, 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 to share data. Uh, PyCSW doesn't have a UI. It's only a, an implementation of OGC <coughs> specification, and that's why other projects are using it as a, as a backend. And uh, actually, there have been some OSGO projects that use it as a backend. Uh, so then, let's talk about the, fe the features. As I said, we implement fully OGC uh, CSW 2 and 3. We are supporting harvesting for WMS, WFS, WCS, WPS, and others. We implement, we implement the ISO metadata application profile, the FGDC application profile, profile for CSW, and uh, Inspire discovery services and transactional capabilities and many others. So now we, are, we have already uh, moved to Python 3. So we are fully Python 3 compatible. And Python 2 still works, but uh, as of the end of this year, as you already know, Python 2 is going to be end of life. So uh, we won't be testing it anymore after this year. So it's time for Python 3. 
So more features. It's very easy to configure. It's very extensible, and this is why many others have been uh, have been integrating uh, PyCSW. For example, GeoNode, HyperMap, Open Ma Open Data Catalog. These are all projects upstream. Uh, we have integrated PyCSW with CCAN, which is uh, a, a, an open data portal, very su successful around the world. Uh, and uh, we also include command line ways of doing things, and uh, we, we have uh, many other features, uh, as you can see. And these are the standards that we currently support. I won't go through all of them. These are the standard uh, in the supported CSW operations. And now, uh, Tom. Thanks, Angelos. So we'll walk through, uh, after that introduction, we'll walk through some of what's new in 2.4. So as Angelos mentioned, um, PyCSW has the capability to harvest from different uh, uh, resources, such as OGC web services or static files on disk. Um, we recently added WMS 1.3 harvesting support, as well as uh, uh, WPS processes. So now you can harvest a whole bunch of web processing services and uh, search a catalog for uh, a process that does what you need it to do, whether it's a buffer or, or some, or some other sort of geospatial um, uh, process, you can discover it now through the harvesting. We've also done a, a bunch of plugin enhancements. So as part of the project, we have a, a plugin mechanism, which allows you basically to support different backends of PyCSW. So PyCSW currently supports uh, Postgres as the backend or MySQL or, or, or SQLite for that matter. Um, we've done some changes underneath the hood because each one of those backends has a different sort of query mechanism. So the way a CSW uh, query works is that a user sends over uh, a bunch of query parameters and they uh, up until uh, this re the 2.4 release basically got translated into SQL and it got sent over to whatever the SQL backend was that I mentioned. So we've done some abstraction of all that so that we can create something in the middle. Um, the reason we did that is that so we can support more than just SQL backends. A lot of people are asking for Elasticsearch support um, uh, powering PyCSW Pi or GraphQL or Solar or any of the sort of uh, uh, you know, big data search engine type technologies. So that was the reason for that, uh, that enhancement. And it'll allow you to basically uh, uh, leverage and scale with something like Elasticsearch really easily as well as put a, sta a robust standards-based interface on top of it via PyCSW. We've also implemented Docker support. We've also implemented Docker support, um, Docker images on Docker Hub. There's full documentation there, so it makes it really easy to install. We have new branding, um, so we thank Amanda for that. So brand new, uh, brand new logos uh, that are on the website, the documentation. If you go to the OSGO booth, there's stickers there. I brought a bunch from overseas. I don't want to bring them back home, so uh, feel free to go fill your laptop with those. Uh, some more improvements. So we've updated some of the testing framework to something called PyTest. So if you're into Python, you probably know what that is. Um, translations. Uh, we've done some fixes to harvesting and basically paging. So by paging, we mean scrolling through uh, query result sets, which, are, which may or may not be massive. In terms of uh, meetings, we had a uh, PyCSW dev meeting in July of 2018. Uh, we attended the OGC API hackathon in London a couple of months ago. Um, most of these meetings are, are, are revolving around the future of the project in relation to the activity that's going on within, uh, within OGC. We'll talk a little bit more about that. So quickly on architecture, um, the way it works is that you know there's a, it's a typical client-server architecture. We support all the standards underneath, and we provide these various uh, uh, interfaces through CSW and OpenSearch and, and SRU, for example. We also support uh, a standard called Open, uh, 
Open Archive Initiative Protocol for Metadata Harvesting. And, the, and things like CSW are available in, uh, so you can open QGIS and query any uh, CSW you want through the search interface there. There's also something called GeoNode, um, which is a, a, a sort of content management application and OWS lib and the list goes on and on. That's basically how it all works. So again, we have users and then we have uh, CGI or WSGI, which is the preferred installation method for performance reasons. We have the, uh, the core PyCSW tooling, and obviously it sits on the, uh, on the shoulders of a lot of uh, uh, really important Python tooling underneath. I'll move it over to Angelos. All right. So how can we install? Uh, Tom also, uh, already mentioned Docker, and uh, it's already uh, available in PyPy. So if you are, uh, if you go there, you will find PyCSW in the latest version. But we have also tried to to do a bit of packaging, and that that in order to be able to be included in Linux distributions. So we managed to get into Debian well with one little thing, with one little problem because the OGC schemas for CSW are not free. So we were placed in a non-free department because of the Debian rules. Uh, then we got, after go, get, getting into Debian, we were able to go into Ubuntu easily, and we also support other distributions uh, like OpenSUSE, and uh, I'm, I'm not aware if somebody is working for for uh, for Red Hat or Fedora. Yeah, I'm not sure. All right, you will find us on on GitHub, and this is how easy it is to to just uh, spin up a PyCSW in under four minutes. And yes, it is four minutes. We've <laughs> we've timed it. Yeah. Uh, so basically, you all you have to do is create a virtual environment, uh, get the code install the code with pip and then configure the, the make a configuration file and then uh, load so create a database and then load some records in there in the last line and you're up and running it's that simple we have been included uh, to OSGO live since the since uh, version 5.5 and we have there available an overview and a quick start tutorial so you can get the USB flash drive from OSGO Live and just uh, work with PyCSW in a couple of minutes. So uh, who is using now uh, PyCSW? Uh, we already talked about GeoNode. GeoNode is an open uh, source uh, geospatial content management system. Uh, GeoNode is kindly providing us with a UI, so we didn't need to make a UI, GeoNode made it for us, and it's a very sophisticated UI. You can do many more than, than just a catalog in GeoNode, and now PyCSW is, embed, is embedded uh, and, and enabled as default in, in GeoNode. Uh, as I said before, we integrated with CCAN, and CCAN is, uh, 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 is calling PyCW through the, spa the spatial extension, and we also had a tight integration implemented uh, within an EU uh, research project. Open Data Catalog, that's a Code for America application that happened some years ago. It's again for open, open data publishing in the US, and PyCSW was the base of that. Uh, Hypermap is a Harvard uh, application, f uh, which is actually a, reg a registry, a registry of catalogs and WMS servers. So if you search for Hypermap on the web, you will find a registry of thousands of services. And then, as I said previously, we support uh, data.gov with actually more than two millions now. It's uh, two and a half million records there. It's the, probably the, the, the most, uh, the, the, the largest uh, SDI out there, out there. And we have some more uh, recent deployments and uh, we have a live map on our website where, where you can find all the deployments that we know. And if you know one, just, just let us know. All right, back to Tom. So in terms of uh, where the project is going, so we've been around since 2010, 2011. 
Um, for those of you that were in the OGC talks uh, uh, session this morning, there is a, a, a movement going on in OGC around doing a clean break around all of their standards and, and moving to this open API, JSON, Swagger, uh, uh, REST approach. And uh, within, within that, catalog, catalog is part of the activity. Um, which is basically Catalog 4 or OGC API records. The name is, the exact name is to be determined. So uh, uh, the PI CSW, so Angelos and myself are part of the CAT4 uh, standards working group to help define that standard. And uh, we've been participating in the OGC API hackathons as well as discussing what this will, what this will look like in the, uh, in the project moving forward because the new OGC standards are a real change from what, uh, what's going on what's been uh, traditionally implemented. There's a, a view of the new standards that are coming from OGC, and uh, OGC API records is what CSW will turn into. So in terms of future releases, now we're at PI CSW 2.4. Um, we're gonna cut PI CSW 3, hopefully by the end of the year, and that will act as our long-term release. So that will support CSW 2 and the CSW 3 interfaces. Once we have that, we will also do a clean break and uh, begin to embark on PyCSW4. We do have an architecture in mind, um, an initial one, and, and it's going to implement only PyCSW, only uh, CS Cat Catalog 4, all these names. And uh, we're also exploring the relationship to the PyGeo API project, which uh, me and others are going to talk about later on this afternoon. So that's basically the the, the outlook. So. If you have dependencies on serving CSW2 or 3, uh, PyCSW3 will be the long-term release for that. In terms of community, um, there's a number of different uh, methods. There's, uh, we have an IRC uh, a channel for those of you who are, who are interested. Um, we have a, a Gitter channel for those that like to use more, more modern means of, of communication. I think there's a bridge between all yeah, of those. Yeah, Slack is also a bridge. Slack does one too? Oh, okay. Um, the source the code. OSGO, in the OSGO Slack. Okay. So the source code, every, we run the whole project on GitHub basically. And uh, if you check the OSGO service provider list, you can find various uh, uh, organizations that'll help you with uh, PyCSW support. We, uh, there was a workshop done in the past, um, and the workshop source code is available there. It is a little bit dated, but it's still going to get you where you need to go in terms of deploying a, a PyCSW instance. I think that's it. So, thank you. Thank you, Tom and Angelos. So, we have time for questions. I guess we'll start with Mike. CSW is a, a four is a clean break, but will it will it also still support the previous uh, versions, or is the architecture going to be cut off such that you have to deploy both if you want to support both um, protocols, the past and the future protocols? The second one, yeah. So the, so it's going to be a clean it's going to be a clean break, okay. just basically because the 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 code base is going to shrink dramatically with uh, Py CSW four. We, we might write, write a, a connection at some point. We don't know yet. Okay, Other questions? All good. Thank you very much.